Hi, I'm Lisa McCree with The Skinny for Everyday Health. You know, once I found out that an extra large egg can have as many as 90 calories, 7 grams of fat, and 210 milligrams of cholesterol, I was pretty okay using 17 calorie egg whites for most of my egg dishes. But sometimes, I just need a runny egg. And no runny egg experience makes me happier than Eggs Benedict. You know, it's golden yolk oozing over everything in its path. And back when I would go out to restaurants, you know those places that you went before you had kids? That was my breakfast of choice. Until, of course, I found out how much that choice was costing me. Those Eggs Benedict platters at America's favorite family restaurants can have 700, 1,000, even 1,400 calories. But now I get my runny egg fix in a much skinnier way with Eggs Benedict dish. And here's how you do it. By using just half of an English muffin, one medium organic egg, and a really thin slice of smoked ham, 10 calories, instead of a 100 piece slab of ham, and adding in lots of fresh spinach and even some fresh tomatoes, you're gonna be able to have a big platter of that yummy Eggs Benedict you craved for under 150 calories. And here's how you're gonna do it. Just gonna turn on my pan and let it start to heat up. And I'm gonna give it a spray of cooking oil instead of using butter. And while that heats up, I'm gonna pop my English muffin right in the toaster. You know, you're gonna look for English muffins that aren't the white kind, but are either whole wheat or multigrain. And look for the ones that are light. They have only 50 calories for a half, and they have a wee bit of fiber. And fiber is always a good thing when you're trying to lose weight. You'll stay fuller longer. All right, as that starts to heat up, you're gonna just dump in a nice big handful of spinach. Now, I usually really load it up with spinach because there's no real calories. But you do it as you like. I'm also gonna give it little bit of a pinch of salt and a little bit of fresh pepper. Now I can already hear it starting to sizzle a little bit. And keep moving it around. See how it's turning that beautiful bright green color? Now as it's just starting to wilt, Take your slice of ham and be prepared to drop it in. You're not going to cook the ham very long. Because it's so thin, it's going to shrivel up and get really tough if you cook it too much. That looks about right. Slide your spinach over to one side of the pan. Drop in your ham and grab your muffin. You literally can count to about 10. Look at, see how it's already starting to bubble and shrivel up? and it's just warmed through. You're gonna put that piece of ham on your toasted muffin. Give your spinach another stir. Oh, I like it when it's so bright green. This texture and taste from the spinach is really gonna add a lot to your breakfast. And there's also iron and fiber. Lovely. Now, I'm just going to use a paper towel to give my pan a quick wipe because the spinach does release some moisture and I want to start with a dry pan. And I'm going to give another spritz of oil and I'm going to drop my egg in as soon as that's hot. And while I wait, I'm going to give my spinach just a little squirt of lemon. That lemony zing is going to remind you of lemony hollandaise sauce, but without the 600 calories a cup that come with the real thing. All right, that pan is hot. I'm just going to drop in my egg. A little salt. And again with the pepper. As soon as it's set, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to take this time, though, to slice a little bit of tomato. That extra fiber that extra nutrition and that juiciness is going to add a lot to your breakfast. I love these heirloom tomatoes. They're not so pretty on the outside, but their taste is fantastic. All right, that looks about, about perfect. Just give it a little flip. 
count to 10, and it's going to be done. I'm going to put my tomato slice on top and add my egg. Great. Now, I could eat it just as it is right now, and it smells fantastic, but I want to pretend like I'm at a fancy restaurant. So I am going to just give it a little extra star treatment, take some fresh dill, and just give it a little haircut on top. You know, when you're starting to lose weight and you're taking a lot of fat out of your recipes, don't forget fresh herbs. First of all, they're pretty, just displayed. You can keep them in the refrigerator like that. And they add tons of flavor and texture to your dishes, so you don't even miss all that extra fat. Now, because I really want to go all the way with this breakfast, I apparently am really missing restaurant food, I'm going to take a little bit of really inexpensive caviar. It's called lumpfish caviar. It just costs about $8 a jar. And put it on top. Gorgeous. So next time you crave Eggs Benedict, try this Eggs Benedictish instead. Your loosish jeans will thank you. Oh, now that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, this is the taste I was craving. Mmm. Perfect. Check out all of my skinny videos on this channel and post a comment. Let me know what you think. For these recipes and more, go to skinny.us.com.